what does a call to inclusion mean to me post-election? Well, although I'm a person of faith, and that is how I orient in the world, I think that our faith traditions point to a larger reality. It's not just my faith in a silo or your faith in a silo. And I think that larger reality is a place where we actually are all interconnected and interdependent. And so in a Christian tradition, we talk about the body of Christ. And um, a Buddhist tradition, we talk both about Dharmakaya and interdependence. But there is a larger reality that we are in denial of when we isolate, when we treat people like separate objects. Um, it's, it's as insane as if I were to start uh, oppression toward my hand. If I were to start really a campaign where I just decided that, it's preposterous. So I believe that we suffer under an illusion, an illusion of separation. And it causes all kinds of difficulties in this dream turned nightmare. And that our faith traditions are one of the places where we can wake up to the larger picture not of my dogma or your dogma or anyone's dogma, but to the spiritual reality of what we all are together. So is it for justice? Yes. Is it for compassion? Yes. But compassion is just the felt experience of our interdependence. And when we remind people of compassion, we're reminding them that we're interdependent with one another, that we're part of a larger body beyond the perception of sometimes even science. Um, although it says it, it sometimes forgets in its tropes. So to me, that work is essential work for all human beings. And I happen to align myself with the tradition I was born in and to use that as a uh, place of liberation. And right now, um, it's really no different than the rest of the time. Uh, what's different is the urgency by which we realize a lot of people have all of a sudden woken up to the reality that we have to be doing this. Um, so the strategy is simple. We make friends. We make friends until it hurts. And a moment like this, that's what I'm saying to faith leaders. That's what I'm saying to congregants. That maybe the most radical act out of that illusion of separateness is um, making friends. What's grounding me in this time of chaos? Um, number one is my own spiritual practice. I'm a meditator. I believe in quiet prayer, and that is part of a daily practice. I also pray the rosary. It's part of my daily practice. But beyond this, the church community. Um, uh, one of the things that's great about our faith communities is they become places where we gather around these ideas. And so my friendships um, with people who gather, and of all generations, of all backgrounds, um, the night after the election, we opened up the doors for anybody who wanted to come and we sat in a circle and people just shared their feelings and there were no solutions offered. Um, there were no uh, um, end results other than the doing of it. But I think people left uh, stronger and um, I know I did and that gave me a lot of strength that I hold on to.